In this video, I'm going to talk to you about this old Mac Mini that I picked up uh, from actually 2011 uh, for less than 100 bucks. I thought it was a 2014 model, but I was completely wrong. Um, it's a 2011 model, it has a hard drive in it, uh, 4 gigs of RAM, uh, and it runs a second generation i5. Um, so it's not a third generation as I thought in my old video. Uh, but regardless, I put Linux on it. So I wanted to show you, even with a hard drive and this old hardware, I was pretty impressed. I'm still impressed with how, you know, fast and fluid the thing is. Um, obviously, we need to kind of, you know, check our expectations here. And it's not like M1 fast or, you know, the new generation Intel chips and AMD chips fast. It's fast for what it is. <laughs> For more than 10 years old it's fast so i'm going to click away with my mouse i uh, kind of show you some things so the first thing i would think would be good to show you is booting up terminal so if i click terminal there you go it boots up pretty fast uh, let's launch another window there's another window uh, if i type in a command ls cpu there we go um, and we can see the cpu is right there so i5 um, second gen 2.3 gigahertz for those nerds out there like me uh, it's a dual core processor so not bad um, here's some management for you know check out our RAM so it's basically occupying almost two gigs of RAM uh, out of four and I've done literally nothing but open up those three windows in front of you um, so RAM's tight but let me see how I get on with it. I might upgrade it, but I'm going to start with four gigs on purpose. The reason I'm doing this uh, whole setup anyways is because I'm trying to uh, basically put my own software on it. And I want to kind of start off from a blank sheet of paper. Uh, so I want to have the system to be fast and fluid. And I want to get rid of all these programs that I don't want on the system uh, just for the application that I'm building. Um, so basically, I need my own custom desktop slash os um it's just for some ai stuff but here's some cpu uh you, know, you can see it's idle yeah it's not bad uh but anyways that's that so you have no programs running on this thing um and whatever default ubuntu comes with uh it's there but i i've removed all the garbage no offense to anybody um and the disc is a hard drive so literally not even an ssd but look at it it's pretty i'm impressed with that look at that new window just new window, you know, new terminal. Terminal is not the craziest thing to launch. Uh, I would launch ooh, like Firefox, but I have no internet. I have no internet. Uh, I'm missing the driver and I'm not really planning to use internet on this device. Uh, I'm gonna be manually installing my software. Uh, just again, the whole emphasis was to control it, um, whatever is going on the machine. But that's a quick video. Uh, just wanted to show you that, you know, even running an old Mac from like more than 10 years old, it's a 2011 Mac. I found out when I opened up the LS CPU command because I was interested in the CPU and I realized, all oh, right, this is not even what I thought it was. Um, the seller didn't, you know, it was not like it was uh, a wrong deal or anything. I just misread it. I thought I picked up a 2014 model when actually it was listed as 2011, uh, but that's just on me. But I'm happy with it. I don't regret it. I'm just more impressed that this all works. Um, regardless, if you're interested in more stuff like this, Feel free to subscribe, but I'll catch you in the next video.